I've been saying I'm having a hard time finding what the next big thing is for smartphones. This year it's been all about bezel-less displays, but what is the future with bendable technology? A lot of people are talking about the Galaxy X, which is kind of the code name for it as of now, but it's pretty much confirmed that Samsung, which is kind of the leader in new innovations and new tech, you know, they were kind of the first guys to introduce curved displays and they're still pioneering that. They modernized wireless charging. They didn't introduce it, but they modernized it. Iris scanning, still reportedly they're working on embedding Touch ID underneath a display. They're very innovative over there. Samsung doesn't have to worry too much about software, so they put all of their research and development into hardware, which I very much admire. And leaks and rumors are reporting about this Galaxy X phone being foldable. Now, foldable can mean a lot of different things. For one, it can mean you have a device that is a form factor of a regular smartphone and then it folds out sideways to become more of a mini tablet. Then you have more software options. You know, you can use it regularly as an iPad. You could have split view, be more effective. You have more real estate to work with. Or some patents are showing it kind of looking like an elongated flip phone where it flips out and you kind of have this awkward aspect ratio, but it has a little hinge in the center of it, almost opening like a laptop. Now, we've seen Samsung demo this type of technology at CES and other conferences before. They've shown that OLED panels are in fact flexible and most of the time they've got a little box with a computer in it and then extending out from that box they've got this warping display and they show people that it can be bent and that you can have a touch screen that even takes input data and is able to display very bright and very capable OLED displays. But of course my big question is doesn't this make the device a lot more fragile? You notice at the conferences when they have pictures of it and stuff they want to show you that it's flexible but they definitely don't don't let anyone touch it because it would probably be very simple to tear. Now, of course, with the Galaxy X phone, it won't be like that. With the Galaxy X, they're embedding this flexible smartphone display within kind of a most slap bracelet design, as in you could take this Galaxy X phone, slap it onto your wrist, and then bend it around and then start treating it like a watch. Definitely new approaches to tech that were not possible before, and Apple has already started patenting designs for a foldable iPhone, so a lot of people are moving on this like, oh, Apple's gonna have a foldable iPhone in 2020. Do I think Think that? Mm, not quite. Of course, a lot of things could change and a lot of leaks and rumors could come out, but Apple oftentimes passes patents for things that never actually get put out there. The R&D department is constantly working on different things and sometimes a company will simply pass patents so that they can get royalty money on anyone who makes something like that in the future. So no, just because Apple patents is a foldable display does not necessarily mean there will be a foldable iPhone. A lot of the pictures I see are kind of like an iPhone that's been bent and it is making kind of a nice 90 degree L shape and it's like, whoa, bendable iPhones. I thought Apple had that with the iPhone 6 Plus. <laughs> joke today. Whoa. But anyway, my question about that 90 degree angle bendable iPhone is what would be the advantage to that? Instead of holding your phone, are you going to bend it in half and then have it rest on a desk and look at the video on the top and the comments on the bottom, I guess? Built in kickstand mode, I suppose. But the prototype that I can kind of get on board with is the idea of having a form factor that is the size of a regular smartphone and having that fold out to be a elongated display. So you have more of an iPad and an iPhone combined. My issue with this though is every time a company tries to take two things, two product lines that we like very much and try to mold them together is usually you get a jack of all trades and a master of none. This is how I look at kind of the Surface Pro devices. People definitely like them because they say it can be a tablet and it can be a laptop, but honestly, how many people just use it as a tablet? I tried to use it as one and it's fairly limited when it doesn't have a keyboard and mouse attached to it. So the idea of having a smartphone that can fold into a tablet to me anyway, makes me think that this will be a very lacking smartphone because obviously if you're designing hardware that has to be able to flex you're gonna have to compromise on things like your camera or your battery your CPU and whatever tech is in there is probably not going to be as on par with the device of the same form factor that doesn't have to bend it's much easier to manufacture this it's much easier to have circuit boards that are not flexible you don't have to have a giant hinge taking up your device a flexible phone likely would have a lot of extra weight a lot of extra width compared to an average smartphone and yes it would have that option of unfolding and turning into a tablet. But at the same time, now this is a very limited tablet because lots of things inside of this device itself had to be compromised to accustomed to this bendable display and the hinge in the center. So battery life separate, CPU probably can't be as good. If you have the back of the phone folding in on itself here, it means that if you want to use the rear facing camera, it's gonna be covered up if you go with that design technique, unless they are somehow able to fit their rear facing camera on the same side that the 
bendable display is on. So that's my biggest issue with these products is I think they're going to be extremely limiting while offering new options. Of course, that's really neat. And I'd be very curious to try one myself. I'm not sure that will become the new standard. And I think that similar to curved displays, this might want to be one of those Samsung exclusives where only Galaxy users have that option and get to try it out and say like, oh, this is neat. Only Samsung has this. But at the same time, you're looking at the rest of the consumer market and they're like, okay, I don't really need that. And that's not to say that it's not cool. I'm definitely curious and I'm definitely interested in new ideas and new approaches to smartphones. As I think we are very quickly running out of ideas, both Samsung and Apple and Google are very quickly just being like, eh, thinner bezels? Will that get you excited? Yay, the display takes up more room. But then once you kill bezels, how do you get people excited again? And I think Samsung, with all of their money and all of their R&D, is able to investigate every single direction and this is one that they're particularly getting close to. Their CEO is saying that the Galaxy X will be ready next year into 2018, to which I'm very, very curious about it. But at the same time, bendable, I think with the Galaxy X really just kind of means snapping between flat and folded in half or flat and curved. It doesn't necessarily mean that the tech is going to be like flexible as paper. I think if they did that, then it would be incredibly easy to break. Paper gets creases. And if OLED was that flexible, I think you would very quickly destroy it. And it also makes sense to just have a device that is rigid. It means propping it up and having a kickstand for it is very simple. Mounting it into a smartphone holder is very simple. Putting it in your pocket is very simple because it has a rigidness to it. Whereas if you were using a smartphone that kind of worked like a three by five card, putting it in your pocket suddenly would be kind of awkward. You'd have to either fold it in half and make it rigid or have to guide the piece of flexible OLED down your pocket, which is just awkward. And I don't think that's the future. I think that phones have to retain some form of rigidness to be usable because that's just what we're used to. And also that's more ergonomic. And I feel like making completely flexible tech like paper thin OLED displays with smartphones built into them, like some concept Samsung made was having a little stick of a computer and then you unscroll the OLED display and tap on it like that. I don't think people are going to be as into that. Again, makes for great demo. If you have that at a Best Buy, people are gonna love to play with it. But in day-to-day -day use, you're gonna find out it's not really that practical. Kind of makes sense for our devices, what we're using to be rigid. That's why books have covers on them. But of course, I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say about the Galaxy X and about foldable tech in general? Let me know in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.